guys I am back video number three in a row um, these are kind of a short topic thing and I need to catch up so this works so this is still the YouTube pagan challenge this would be considered week number three do you have a altar shrine or sacred place that's what this video is for and like I said in the first video I didn't say it in the second um, the second one's like under five minutes um, this will probably be the same. Um, but anyway, so I will post the link or you can go to the first video if it uploads like it's supposed to. It'll, it should take you to my Facebook page and hopefully it'll show you. If it doesn't and you have problems with it, let me know. If not, you can just Google it and you can find the challenge. Um, I found it in the images and I may have found it in just a website form um, but I just took the image off Google and copied it and shared it with my page and other another witchy group I'm in um, so anyway I don't have an altar I don't have a shrine but I do have a sacred place I'm not in the craft enough and I'm too broke right now to have an altar eventually yes I would like one I do have kind of I guess sacred tools or you know things like that um, I have a desk with stuff on it but I wouldn't consider it an altar no um, I'm still trying to figure out my goddess or god and that is actually a question challenge video in this challenge who's your matron your patron um, or your god or whatever and I will be doing that one very happily I have not I'm gonna get off track just a second I have not found a singled out goddess or god I have done a little bit of research on goddesses but I don't know what I'm looking for in a goddess and what I am the only one that I can even relate to or have a huge connection with is just the goddess itself. Um, moon goddess, whatever you want to call it, mother nature, just whatever. That is it. That's it. I've always had a very strong connection and yeah, I'll save that for the next video. Um, or for the video for that particular topic. I don't want to get into it now. I want to save it so you'll have to tune in. Um, but my sacred place, um, we have an office, I have my desk, um, I have all my books in my desk, I have my moon waters, my hurricane waters, my tarot, um, usually my book of shadows, I had it inside, I was working on it one time while my husband was recording his YouTube videos, check him out if you like gaming, Tardy Sloth, he's doing a lot of throwback right now, so check him out. Um, but this is kind of where I go if I kind of want to have some peace and quiet. It's, it's, it's a guest house, so, you know, I can get away from the kids. I can get away from my husband and kind of do my own thing and not feel weird. Um, but if I didn't have this space, my sacred place, honestly, is just being outside. I did say this in the last video, I believe. You know, outside is like my church. You know, that's where... I connect that's kind of where I rejuvenate myself and calm myself and think and just I would even just say ground myself because usually I have my feet planted on the ground somewhere um, at my old house it was normally on grass but we have steps and like a tiny little porch I sit on but you know that is definitely a big sacred place for me and I think your sacred place could be anywhere that you feel comfortable doing your craft. Um, whether it's small, big, outside, inside, in your car even. I mean, it's really up to you as far as that go. If anybody new is watching, you don't have to have like a designated space. It's great because then you can have a clear conscience when you're trying to do what you need to do. Or kind of drown out everything else and escape. But I've learned living at my old house when we didn't have this sort of thing, 
that I was still able to do what I needed to do um, and still connect to, you know, just myself outside, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't, I mean, I could see myself having a shrine, I guess. I do have a shrine. It's not witchy related. Um, it's for the baby I lost um, in 2014. I do have a shrine to them, or him or her, whatever. I wasn't. I didn't find out what it was. Um, it's too early still, I guess. But as far as a witchy shrine, I don't. And if I did, it would probably be strictly to the goddess, because she is helped me overcome so much you know she helped me through my miscarriage she helped me you know I prayed so much for a rainbow baby and you know after so long of trying um I was blessed to have one and he is just awesome he's the sweetest little thing he's getting so fat so you know my connection with her I would love to do something like that um but I'd probably do it a little bit more personal, like, you know, paintings or drawings or, you know, handmade crafts like that. Um, you can buy goddess candles and all that other stuff. But like I said in my last video, I'm kind of broke. Um, well, no, I said in this video. I don't even know. See? I don't know. It's like my third video now. Who knows? Um... Should have just did a long one and tagged all three of the challenges in it. But, um, but there's ways of getting magical tools or whatever you would think about it, especially if you're crafty and not having to spend a lot of money. Sorry, hiccups. So, I guess that's basically it. I don't really have one. Um, let me do. Sorry. So I'll show you my desk. It's nothing really special. I just found, I got these years and years ago. One's gold and one's um, silver. And it was for like kind of an altar type of space. I thought about maybe glue on this one because I like silver. I'm not a big fan of gold. Um, this one was my husband's. But gluing this to my book of shadows because it's kind of flat. It gives some extra texture and detail. Um to my book. Oops. I almost dropped the bottles. But anyway, I'll show you really fast. Hopefully you'll be able to do it because I don't, I can't flip the camera while I'm recording, I guess. So hopefully you'll see it. So this is like my moon water, which I showed in another video. I'll just do a pan. Sorry if it's crazy. So, like I said, nothing special. Um, eventually, when I get time, I would like to do some paintings and some drawings. Kind of hang them up around my space. Um, like I was saying in my last video, if I was out of the closet or not, um, since this is a guest house, um, my husband's parents live in another state, and usually they come down for the holidays, at least Christmas or Thanksgiving, they alternate between his sister and us, um, and his brother also lives here, so they kind of alternate. So basically, if they were to come down, they would stay in this space, and they are Christian, okay? So I can't be having, even though they know, I, I, I just... I don't know. I feel weird about having that stuff in here, so I'd have to take it down. So I may wait until maybe after that, after the holidays, to be able to really decorate my spot and make it more personal to myself. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just because I feel like I'm disrespecting them, even though this is our home and we can decorate it however we like. I just, I don't know. I. I I'd rather not have that confrontation, I guess, or the uncomfortableness of being around that because, you know, when they do come, all this will be hidden somewhere or locked away 
in my room. Um, thankfully, I don't have a lot of stuff, but that's just me. I know others would probably be like, you know, yeah, it's your home. You shouldn't have to do that, but um, I really don't like confrontation, so I really don't want to get into it. It's just easier for me to make them feel as comfortable as possible. I mean, I would hope somebody would take the same respect if I was to come stay with them and they had Jesus everywhere. But, unfortunately, I don't get that kind of reaction, I guess, or whatever. It's fine. I don't care. It doesn't bother me if you got Jesus. I mean, this house that we're in right now, um, house-sitting... This lady had Jesus and everything. I mean, everywhere. I'm like, holy hell. Like, insane. You know, she loves her religion and that's awesome. You know. So it is a bit awkward to have it. I'm like, oh gosh. This house is going to burn down when I get in it. It's still standing. Um, that's just be, being silly and ridiculous, honestly, to say that, but sometimes I feel like that. I feel like if I'm going to walk into a, uh, church, I'm going to burst into flames. <laughs> and I have. I went with my husband. When his parents come, they go to church. So I've been to just show support for my husband and my kids, you know. Um, and I swear every time I feel like I'm going to burst into flames or everybody's going to know. It's like I got a big stamp. Witch on my forehead. It's just being paranoid, like I am. But anyway, if the next video or the next topic isn't that bad of one, I may do that too because I want to bust these out and try and get caught up and have them because nobody's paying attention to these unless they're new to them like I was a few days ago. But anyway, y'all have an awesome night, and maybe I'll see you again. If the next video you see me wearing this, then yes, I'm back. But y'all have an awesome night awesome week. I hope good fortune and abundance comes your way and I will see you in the next video. Bye!